Those remains were found here in a wooded area off Dasong Drive back in December of 1982. Investigators collected a female skull and some physical evidence, but it wasn't enough to identify the woman. That is until now. And I'm still processing a lot of it. 50-year-old Janice Adams has always wondered what happened to her mom. Was she murdered? Was she, did she abandon us? Like what, we never knew. So it was always a question in the back of my mind. Marlene Standridge disappeared in the early 70s. Investigators found her remains a decade later, but they didn't know it was Marlene at the time. We were always told that our mother left us in Piedmont Park. 40 years later, a friend of Janice's suggested she submit her DNA to a law enforcement database. In March, Gwinnett police also sent Marlene's skull to a lab called Othram, a Houston-based testing lab that specializes in forensic-grade genome sequencing. To basically uh, tease out the human part of, uh, of the evidence, uh, clean up and, and kind of repair and put together enough of the DNA fragments such that we can then, um, you know, read them and, and produce a profile. Investigators collected another DNA sample from Janice in Georgia and sent it off to Othram. Lab results confirmed the remains were Janice's mom. Decades ago, just the technology wasn't there to be able to, you know, do what we can do today. And I wish that, you know, it was under different circumstances. But just getting that closure means so much to me. I hope that no one ever has to go through this. Now, the investigation into exactly what happened to Marlene remains ongoing. If you know anything about her whereabouts back in the 80s or anything that happened to her, call Gwinnett Police. Live in Stone Mountain, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News.